Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Nextcloud installation video. Today I'm going to show you how to install and configure Nextcloud on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. This will be a quick and easy setup. I hope you can complete the installation within 10 minutes. For your convenience, I have written a step-by-step -step guide on my blog, which I will be following throughout this video. If you follow each step in this guide, you will end up with a successful Nextcloud installation. I will walk you through each step here, but if you feel you need more clarification on any step, or if you have any doubt, question or suggestion for us, you can comment below. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Before dive in, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. So without further ado, let's get started. For this installation, I will be using a Walter VPS. So I will create VPS now and later we have to uh, configure the DNS for this host. This will take uh, two or three minutes, uh, not more than that. Then we can start our installation. Let's start uh, deploying our server. Click deploy server. So we'll be using cloud compute shared CPU, New York data center, that is okay. And operating system 24.04 and we will be taking two cpu with two gb ram that will be enough for now and auto backup is not necessary disable auto backup disable also ipv6 okay let's create our host name now click on the deploy now initially it will take some time hopefully within two or three minutes, the server will be ready. Now it shows running state, but if we see the details of this server, then we can see this notice that your server may still be finishing installing. So it will be better to wait for another minute, then we can come back. Within this time, uh, what we can do, we can copy the IP, then we can create our host record. I am on the Cloudflare DNS. Let's create the host record. Our host record will be NC. And this is the IP. We are not using proxy right now. Click Save. So our nc.mailserverguru.com will be this IP. Now we can check from MX Toolbox. Let's check our IP and the host name are resolvable. Yes, it is. Okay, so now we are ready. Let's log into the system, then we can start our installation. So sometimes uh, people ask me what software I use for the SSS session. So this is Mobile Xterm. Uh, this is a free software you can download from their website. Let's go to the session and SSH. And see user will be root terminal setting let's increase the size of the font and the foreground color green will be fine okay let's copy the password and paste We are logged into our system. If we check the release, so it is 24.04. We can check the host name and the FQDN. Everything is okay. Now let's uh, follow our guide. Let's start from the beginning. Okay, so we need to update and upgrade our system. Of course, this is always recommended. Software installation will take some time, so I will pause some time and I will come back or resume the video uh, when it finished. Our first command, update and upgrade is done. Now let's follow the step two. We have to install the Apache and uh, we will install the MySQL server. 
Uh, Apache installation is not mandatory. We can use uh, any web server like the Nginx or Lite TTPD. But uh, on this installation, we are using Apache. Let's install Apache. Okay, so Apache is installed. Now, of course, we need to start and enable the Apache. So that Apache can start uh, if the system is rebooted. Now, if we check the status, okay, is active and running. Okay, that's good. Now let's install the database server. Uh, we will install the MariaDB server. So this is recommended. Okay, MariaDB installed quickly. Again, let's start enable. And of course, let's check the status. This is a clean step-by-step -step instruction. Just copy and paste. Okay, so now uh, we need to install the PHP modules. So we need several modules for the NX Cloud and these are very recommended. So these PHP modules will be installed and later on we need to enable these uh, modules to work with the Apache. So all PHP modules are installed. Now let's enable the module on the Apache. We can find some uh, modules already enabled. That is not a problem. Okay. So now we need to restart the Apache. Now we can check the modules are loaded or not. Here you can see, you can check from here. Okay, so now we need to create the Nextcloud database and the database user. Let's log into MySQL. You can copy and paste everything at once, but it will be better to create one by one. So we are creating the user later on. We will be creating the database with the recommended character set. Then allow the privilege to the database. Okay. Now flash privileges. Now let's quite from here. Okay. Now on step five, uh, we need to download the next cloud archive and we need to configure the uh, Apache directories. Let's go to the main document root. Of course, we need to delete the default index.html. So this could create some problem. Let's download the next cloud archive file it will take some time it's maybe 200 mb plus yes it's 231 okay of course we need to unzip and we will be using our default var www html or the document root. Uh, we will not use the next cloud directory. CD next cloud. Let's move everything one step back. And the user to INI also. Okay, so everything moved back. We can safely remove the next cloud directory and the 
installation zip file okay now we need to provide the apache user permission on the vrw html and all the files okay let's check the permissions okay everything is fine okay so from the cli we are done the rest of the setup we can configure uh, from the uh, web gui okay now let's hit nc dot mail server core.com okay so our next cloud installation page appears create an admin account and let's give a password and this will be our storage uh, data folder database account will be next cloud let's copy the database password that we have used earlier so this will be our password and the database name also will be next cloud okay so now click the install so it will take some time now it's loading the recommended apps now it's asking for the uh, recommended apps installation we can skip from here or it will be better to install the uh, initial recommended apps so we are clicking on installing recommended apps so it is installing now we can safely close this window okay so our installation is done this is the dashboard and you can see that it's greeting us okay so we can customize this dashboard from here you can enable or disable any widget from here all the files and folders you can access from here click files so you can see uh, these are the default files you can access your photos from here photos and videos and everything you can check the activities talk all the applications we have used initially all will be accessible from this dashboard so we have done our next cloud installation this is it for today on our next video, we will install and configure Nextcloud in detail by applying security and performance. So thank you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.